So what is up guys, Kenneth here, and today I'm going to show you how I organize my files when I edit a video. So, so what I've made is a preset folder that allows me to use the same exact setup for all of my videos. As you can see, it is a zip file here, and every time I unzip it, it will reset and give me the blank version of my preset folder without any files inside of it. So, once I've unzipped it, I drag the file to my desktop, and then I rename it. So I'll call this iPhone Unboxing and hit enter. Then when I open it, I am presented with all of these 12 folders. And every time you unzip the file, you will have the exact same folders with the exact same files inside. So the first folder that we have is an audio folder. Here you have music, recording, sound effects, and voiceovers. In my music folder, I have my outro music that I used to use for my videos. Then we also have a backups folder and a cache folder. These are two folders that are marked in red, which show that they are being used by the software. What is also really good about this setup is that after you finish the video, you can really easily clean up your Mac again by just deleting the folder because all of the files that are related to this project are inside of this folder. So you don't have to worry about cache files somewhere hidden on your Mac. Then we have a documents folder. In here you have some client documents which you might write notes in for a client and some editing notes for yourself. Then we have the exports folder which is where you'd export your files to. You have a master file a compressed file that you might use for YouTube and then a final delivery. Then we have a fonts folder where you can add some downloaded fonts you might need which would be important if you're collaborating with other people on a video and then we have a graphics folder. In here you have an After Effects folder, Photoshop and Premiere folder. In my After Effects folder I have my outro clip that I created in After Effects. As you can see right here, just like that. And then every time I unzip the folder, I have the file there and the, I can just import it into my project. Then we have the library folder, which is where you store your actual project right here. You, right here you can see mine. Every time I open it, I'm presented with the exact same folder. So you can customize this for yourself so that every time you open it, for example, you have the same intro at the beginning and the same outro at the end. So you don't have to redo that whole section every time you make a new video. So as you can see in my folder, I am presented with this view straight away. Over here, I have all of my files that I use for my outro, for example. So I can just open this up and here I have, and here I have the outro that I use for my vlogs. And this will be the exact same every time I unzip the folder. Here I can just do all of my stuff. This is the exact same preset that you'll get every single time. So. After that, we have a Premiere Archive, which, which just archives some of your files, your backups, your autosaves. And then we have a stills folder where you'd store images. Here I have all the images I use for my outro. As you can see, arrows, videos. These are all of the stills that I use for my outro. Then, then we have a folder for photos and screenshots. This just helps organize your footage. Then we have a storage location and a videos folder. Inside of the videos folder, you can add all of your footage, just like this here. As you can see, I have some footage that I use often, some film burns, and my outro clip. So as you can see, the setup that I use is really organized and really easy to follow. It's all color coded, all down the folders, and I mean, it looks pretty nice. So once you download this folder, you can easily open it up once, set it up the way you like it, and then close it again, compress it, and use that file. So it's customized to your needs. So if you want this folder, links to a Final Cut Pro version and a Premiere Pro version are down below in the description. I did create them so I'm not like distributing software. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, and see you guys in the next one. Adios.